Well, hello and welcome to the Pandemies. The LA Staples Center was packed at Sunday's 2020 Emmy Awards. Just kidding. We're living in the era of COVID and social distancing, so no one was at this year's award show. And what the hell am I doing here? This is the year they decide they have to have a host? Well, no one besides host Jimmy Kimmel and a few other celeb participants. I'd like to have one joke for every nominee, so I think we'll have about 900 in the show. We filled the seats with cardboard cutouts of the nominees. You can see we have Regina King, Hugh Jackman, Jason Bateman, Meryl Streep. Wait a minute. Go, go back one. Jason Bateman was the first famous face to join Jimmy IRL. But the Ozark actor's visit was short-lived. You can stay as long as you promise to laugh at my jokes. Huh. I'm out. I'm going to call the car. Jennifer Aniston also dropped by the venue to present the evening's first award. I said, thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> what? Never, never mind. The morning show actress's appearance was literally on fire. Okay, now we just need to sanitize the envelope. Okay, here we go. Perfect. One cannot skip the carpet. And Tracy Ellis Ross might have been socially distant at home when Catherine O'Hara was named the winner of her lead actress in a comedy series category. But the Blackish star was on set with Jimmy when it came time to present. But Tracy. Yes. You forgot to present the award. No, no, no. I agreed to dress for the occasion and come somewhere other than my home, and I have done that. It was really nice, mm -hmm. so good night. Ellis's co-star Anthony Anderson emphasized the record number of black nominees at this year's Emmys while paying Kimmel a visit. This is the part where the white people start to applaud. Oh. And nod. Oh. And he went on to lead the late night host in a chant. Say it with me, Jimmy. Black, black lives, lives matter. matter. Louder, Jimmy. Black, black lives, lives matter. matter. Louder, Jimmy. Say it so that my kids can hear it. Other stars like Zendaya, Laverne Cox, and Yara Shahidi also stopped by the stage. So did Jason Sudeikis, who announced his category while getting a COVID swab. Oh, wow, that's deep. You're in there. OK. Ow. <laughs> it's been seven hours. Meanwhile, Her made her Emmys debut with a touching in memoriam tribute to the stars we've lost over the past year. And Sterling K. Brown closed out the evening with a little humor. And we ain't showing up to work unless we get some big ass raises. I'm presenting. We weren't even nominated. Uh, I will be at work tomorrow happily and on time and without complaint. <laughs>